What's up guys and welcome to the video on circles. Let's do it. When we're talking about circles, one of the most important terms that you should be familiar with is what is a radius? So a radius, if we look at this circle here, it's simply the distance from the exact center of the circle to straight line out to the out to the edge of the circle. So you see here this red line, that is the radius and we're going from the center to the outer edge. The next term that you should be familiar with is the diameter. So what is the diameter? Well, the radius is the distance from the center to the outer edge. The diameter is the distance from one edge to the other. So it's a line segment that goes from one edge to the other that goes through the center of the circle. And a quick rule to remember is that the diameter equals two times the radius. The next term that you should be familiar with is a chord. So a chord is any line segment that goes from one edge of the circle to another. And it doesn't have to pass through the center, but of course it can pass through the center. Now to calculate the value of a chord length, there's a really interesting formula and it's two times the radius times sine of A, which is that angle that is created when we have two radii come out and touch the opposite ends of this, this chord over two. So it's two times the radius times sine of half of this angle that is created. Next, let's talk about circumference. So circumference is simply the length of the outside of the circle. And the way we calculate that, you should definitely know this formula. It is simply two times pi times the radius. Next, to calculate the area of the circle, you simply multiply pi times the radius squared. Now let's talk about cylinders. So, and we're specifically talking about right cylinders. And a right cylinder is like a can of Coke. It's, it's a circle at the top and the bottom and straight up and down on the sides. So you might be asked to calculate the volume of a cylinder on the ACT. The volume of the cylinder is simply the area of the circles on top and bottom. So pi r squared times the height of the cylinder. A couple terms you should be familiar with. First of all, a sector. A sector is simply a chunk out of a circle, like you're taking a piece of pie that connects all the way to the exact center. Also an arc. An arc is just the outer portion, the outer length of whatever, of the circumference essentially. So it's a piece of the circumference of this circle, depending on whatever the angle in question is. Another quick fact to note is if you go all the way around a circle, there are 360 degrees in total. So now we're going to use the notion that there's 360 degrees in total around a circle to calculate both the area of a sector and the length of an arc. So here's how we do it. Let's say we want to calculate the length of an arc and we know the measure of the angle that creates this arc. So what you do is you take the angle and you divide it by 360 degrees, the amount when you go total, totally around, multiplied by whatever the value of the entire circumference is, and that will give you the exact length of this particular arc. Now, how do we find the area of a sector? Well, it's kind of similar. We're gonna take that same angle and divide it by 360, but multiply it instead by the area of the circle, and that will give us the area of this sector. Next, let's talk about an equation for a circle in the xy coordinate plane. And let's say we know that r is the radius. So the equation of a circle is pretty cool. It's x minus a squared plus y minus b squared equals r squared, where r is the radius. So what is a? A is the x coordinate of the center of the circle. So on this xy plane, x is the x coordinate of the center, and of course, b is our y coordinate of the center of this circle. 
Let's take a quick example of a possible equation for a circle. So in this case, we have x minus two squared plus y minus five squared equals 16. So what are all of these parts? Well, first of all, we see that it equals 16, and that's meant to be the radius squared. So we see that is four squared, so that tells us our radius is four. Next, what is the value of the x-coordinate of the center? Well, since we have x minus two, the center is at the x-coordinate of two, and then we have y minus five, so the center of the y-coordinate, the, the y-coordinate of the center, excuse me, is five. So we have our center right there at two, five. That's all for the video on circles. Let's get into some practice problems.